During the second half of 2022, police in Kisi County recorded not less than 10 high-profile cases of murder and conflict related to land disputes between buyers and sellers. In some cases, conflicts have led to delays in burials for years due to court battles between interested parties. Well, tonight on Citizen TV, we tell you about perennial land tussles in Kisi that remain a thorn in the flesh of the local community. Here's our feature. Jagua village lies a short three kilometers from the busy Kisi town. On this day in October 2022, <laughs> Citizen TV captured and read residents chasing away police officers who had brought the body of Catherine Sarange, a middle-aged woman whose body had been lying in a morgue for close to six years because of a land row. This was the third attempt at burying the body. Like the other previous attempts, the planned burial was unsuccessful and the body continues to lie at the Kisi mortuary. The late Catherine had been abducted on the 2nd of June 2017, October, before her headless body was discovered in a polythene sack dumped in a pit latrine. Four people are currently serving 15-year jail terms each at the Kisi prison in connection with the heinous act. Before the Makaba killing, the late Sarange is said to have resisted pressure from a man who allegedly wanted to displace her family from their land for expansion of his business. Bernard Mogaka, a village elder here, gives us more details. Kwa hivyo mtu akikufa lazima apatiwe heshima yake. Huyu mama tunataka kumpatia heshima kama mama alikuwa na watoto, alikuwa na mzee, achengewe nyumba, asikwe both parties involved in this dispute claim to have genuine land ownership documents. Na <laughs> na ikiwa kuna ukarabati mwingine unafanywa hapa katikati uangaliwe nilisaliwa hapa kutoka kitambo eh lakini sichaiona kama maneno ilikuwa hapa mimi ni, ni mdogo sasa chaiona hata kidogo tukuliswa samba mimi ni tukakaa vizuri 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 tukifika mahali hivi sasa ndio tuliambiwa sasa samba imepagano in Abagusi culture, land issues were dealt with by the elders who were in charge of land subdivision. And because of the high population here, land is regarded so precious a life and death issue. Some families with many sons dread the day they have to subdivide an acre amongst them and their grandsons. In Abagusi community, land was the main thing. Because that is what was given from one generation to another in the form of uh, property. And we call it uh, umwandu. Your parents gives you umwandu, and it was uh, specifically patricial. And it was in the line of fathers. But so much has since changed due to the population surge. The population has grown. You find that uh, Mzee alikuwa na many wives. And if they, were, if they are about five wives, it was his uh, prerogative to know how to divide the land. Majorly, each wife was given nearly equal land. It was not given to the sons. But now as time goes, you realize that uh, this wife has three sons, the other one has two. Uh, and uh, those who are two will have bigger land than those who are three already. We are all sons of so and so. Why should so and so have bigger land than mine? Issues emanated from them. Kisi County has one of the highest population growth rates in the country, and it is also one of the nine counties accounting for over 30% of the national population. The growing menace of land conflicts is attributed to the population pressure. We are now heading to Sengera village in Bomachoge, Chache in Kisi, where we are informed that a Mau Mau era hero by the name Paul Mulumba on Songo is involved in a land tussle with one of his neighbors. Age has taken its toll on Onsongo, particularly his ability to move about. 
He required the assistance of his family members and a friend as he shared his tribulations with us. He narrated that he was involved in the country's independence struggle in Molo, Nakuru County in the late 1940s. He said he left behind a seven-hectare piece of land in Kisi, hoping to develop it after the independence struggle. However, many years later he discovered, to his dismay, that his land was allegedly subdivided by his late brother on Songo Nyangao without his consent. According to Sengera Senior Chief David Nyanchongi, who spoke to us via phone, they have tried their level best to reclaim the whole parcel of land, but all they have been awarded is a 60 by 120 piece of land to build a home for the independence struggle veteran. <laughs> Ikafika wakati wa election 207, mzee akakuja nyumbani. Kufika nyumbani, mzee akapata shamba lake limechukuliwa na wenzake. Mzee akaeka kesi kotini ile ya rudisha shamba yake, lakini imesindikana hiyo bado. Some developers even fear the county could grow into a big slum if they do not moderate the subdivisions. Rachel Otundo is a land valuer in Kisi. We hold land as a very valuable asset. A Kisi will kill you if you touch his land. And because of this scarcity of land, we have people moving boundaries. And that is why we have a lot of boundary disputes. That is where we have a lot of land cases. That is where we have a lot of problems as far as land is concerned. We are right in front of this highly sought-after office when it comes to land matters. The Kisi Land Registry, some visit here almost daily seeking solutions while others take advantage of those in agony to swindle them of their hard-earned cash. We have an appointment to the Kisi Land Registrar, Steve Mokaya, who will hopefully put to perspective why the land issue in Kisi is so emotive. When I reported, there was a lot of mess in this office, whereby there was a lot of forgeries, there was a lot of uh, plucking of uh, documents from our system, there were a lot of uh, um, blackmail. I, my life was uh, threatened uh, simply because I was trying to put some order in this office. I don't know if, if it's the nature of human being, but uh, there's a lot of uh, shortcuts which uh, the people from this region, not all of them, some people who want shortcuts, don't want to follow the procedures, end up getting fake documents. Mokaya says brokers have infiltrated the land registry with a singular aim to swindle unsuspecting landowners. People from this region, not all of them, some people who want shortcuts, don't want to follow the procedures, end up getting fake documents. And uh, using those fake documents, that's fake uh, land uh, documents, using those fake land documents, they go out there, get uh, charges or loans from the banks, transfer land to other unsuspecting public or unsuspecting members of the public. Uh, so you find there's a lot of litigation <coughs> cases which is going on because you find most people who buy, they are, uh, you find them they are uh, bona, fide purchase, uh, bona fide purchasers for value without the notice. In Kisi County, land contestation is so prevalent that even the ownership of a 0.002 hectare piece of land is contested before the registrar. Kisi court has a lot of files now pending. Uh, cases of forgeries, murder, even murder cases, criminal matters down here. It's uh, the source of all that is in, is, uh, is land uh, issues. According to the Kisi Land Registrar, the following steps must be followed for one to register land or to transfer it to another party. The individual selling the land must appear in person. They must also have duly signed documents from the registrar and present a thumbprint. The parties involved must appear before their area deputy county commissioner. The parties must also appear before a land valuer to evaluate the property. The person transferring a piece of land must be registered owner or given powers by county attorney. Particulars of the registered owners must tally with the details in the digital system in the registry. Her statement resonates well with what Mze Lawrence Okongo, a resident of Omwaro village in Kitutu Church's south in Kisi County.
Okongwe is in distress after he and at least five other families staying around the Soko Primary School in Mosocho were given notice to vacate a five hectares piece of land that they have been living in as it belonged to a school. Then hapo Musose Kakucha Ikansa to Kambiwa na area cheap at the upper atuta weka muiri. Tukasema, tukauliza ni kuwa nini kwa mana hayo yote mambo muna, mukiongocha watu yetu wakiva, muna tuletea maneno. Tasa hapa, tu, tuko na muna gani. At the Kisimog, several bodies lie because of unresolved land disputes. Mwiri siku hapa nani, ati because of land dispute. Tuliongea, tukasema, nini yendeni mketi, alafu muerewane. As they grapple with countless land disputes, many residents of Kisi wonder how and when the speed of land-related killings will be brought to an end. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.